Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm here today to um, review the Epson Incotape L1250. This one here. Um, I did purchase it here in Ecuador, so everything was in Spanish, but it was easy just to go online and um, get the English version. So the notices and warranties were English, but everything else, the setup and everything was in Spanish. So, but like I said, it was easy just to get the English version, and then I just had David do it, so <laughs> it was even easier for me. Um, so we're going to review this and see how it prints, how we like it. Also, um, this is my first time that I'm going to be doing different um, camera. Look at that. Yay! My two different cameras. So this is where my hands and stuff are, and then the back screen is what I'm looking at on the computer. So I purchased this paper collection from Tamika Sunning Smiles, um, and this is the Vintage Halloween collection that I just purchased. I also have her Pink Lemonade and her 80s in Miami, which is Golden Girls, of course. Um, but if you see here on her Etsy shop, and I'll link it down below, there is a ton of stuff that you can purchase. These are her digital paper collections. There's a little bit of something for everyone. Um, she also is having a fundraiser on the Hopes and Dreams website. Um, and they are selling beaded pens, card kits, t-shirts, tumblers, glass cups, everything, you know, anything you need. Um, some of these items are on there as well. Um, so I will leave that link down below as well. If you want to purchase any type of beaded pens or anything, you know, definitely do it through the fundraiser page, um, you know, to help out. I purchased these pens here. There's three... I think three different colors on the Hopes and Dream website um, and um, I got them for my nephew to give during Christmas time because he works at a bank and you know um, if anybody is a banker or a teller or you know any staff you love a great pen um, and one that you can tell your customers they can't touch because it's yours <laughs> so I ordered 11 of those um, from the fundraiser so anyway let's go ahead and take a look so I have it queued up here. This is the second page. Look at how gorgeous these pumpkins are. I um, um, honestly, I don't know how to do settings or anything like that. Um, my paper is an A4 paper, but I think I like it better as letters. So I'm just gonna have white around mine because I want that full bottom. I guess either way is the same, isn't it? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. I could probably fit the paper A4. It's going to be the same. Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and print and just see how it comes out. It is kind of loud. Um, hopefully, that's not too annoying. Well, okay, here it goes. Maybe. Um, okay. And I am using this. Oh, it's slow. Um, <laughs> you can't even see it. Hold on. Gotta come over here. Forgot my mouse is on the other screen and it won't come over here. I have two monitors and it wouldn't come over here. Okay, here we go. I'm using this paper, this A4 paper. It's 150 GSM, which was 40 pound weight. So, yeah, it takes forever. So, you're just gonna see. Let's go back to the pretty paper here. 
just kind of I don't want to scroll through all of it because I want you to purchase it and not just copy it off the screen I know people do that but here is the thumbnail for it or the cover page so you can see there's the pumpkins the ones that we're printing now um, these pumpkins with faces some um, diamonds some bats okay let's see here oh that's gorgeous let me flip the camera back over. That is gorgeous. You probably can't see it because of my lighting, but this is beautiful. All right, I like the saturation of the ink. I could probably use less ink because my paper is a little wet, but that is gorgeous. So the Eco Tank. Um, it, it was somewhat easy to set up um, following the directions to refill the ink cartridges because it's little bottles of ink that you put in there. That seemed pretty easy. Um, of course, David did it for me, but um, he said that when you pop the little thing out, um, there's no way you can put the wrong color in. But, you know, sometimes we do not pay attention and we... You know, you know how us crafters are. Um, so, yeah. And here, where I'm at, the ink was super cheap. It is only $13 a color. I don't know how much it costs in the States. Probably $50 a color. Because that's the normal ink um, price in the States. So, for me, it's even more economical. So, anyway, I'm just cutting the paper. So this is just slightly thicker than copy paper. Okay, that is beautiful. All right, so recap. So far, the Eco Tank, um, e you know, fairly easy to set up, easy to refill. It did take a little while to print a page. I know it was like a minute or two, but sometimes, you know, we get impatient. Um, but yeah, color, beautiful. All right, well, I love it. So, um, yeah, that's going to be my review. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.